Hey YouTubers, it's Brent from Upper Corner Hockey. Today, uh, going with a quick little how-to video and uh, getting a lot, of, a lot of questions from people on Facebook asking me, um, you know, a lot of beginners. They ask me, Brent, um, when do I need to retape my son's stick? How do I know when to retape my son's stick or my daughter's stick? Or how do I know to retape my stick or whatever? You know, it, it doesn't matter whose stick it's for, but um, Usually I tape my stick every time before a game um, or even practice or whatever. Uh, if I'm practicing down the basement, I'll usually take uh, the game tape off because it'll have wax on it. Um, not everybody uses wax, but uh, I do. And as you can see, I use a lot of it lately. So um, I'll remove that and just have the plain tape on there and practice, you know, in my shooting area. So I don't gunk up my uh, extreme EPK or extreme passing kit. Um, so anyway, with that said, um, younger players won't have as much power. So uh, they're not going to rip the bottom of this tape as much. As you can see, that's asked after one game. Uh, it goes pretty quick for me. Uh, probably because of the slap shot and whatnot. Uh, I take a lot of slap shots and... And that'll pretty much tear the tape apart. But I know guys that, that play, and the guy still has the same tape that he's had on for the past two years. So um, some guys just don't uh, muster up enough velocity, I guess, to tear through the tape, or they're using some kind of super tape that I don't know about. So um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you also want to check out the other side of the stick. Um, this is definitely getting a retape. It starts to uh, gunk up after a while, and uh, it's it just looks dirty. It actually starts to get shiny here, right in this section, and it gets to be slick. So you kind of want a decent grip on that. Um, I'll sometimes actually put some wax, a little wax on the, the butt end of the stick just to uh, get a little bit of grip. Um, but this is getting pretty dusty, so we're going to have to retape that. So pretty good understanding on um, you know when to retape your stick. Uh, like I said, a lot of the younger players probably aren't going to have to tape it as much um, because they're not firing off slap shots, you know, 80 mile an hour slap shots and whatnot. So um, their their tape might hold up, but you never know because, you know, this kids, uh, you know, step on their sticks or hit a hockey blade. And what you really want to do is you want to protect the blade as much as possible because these, these sticks are pretty expensive. You know, you know, I know intermediate and all the uh, smaller sticks are, you know, still 100 bucks is 100 bucks. So you don't want to be going through hockey blades. So you want to keep that thing protected and, and tape is cheap. So um, definitely, uh, you know, if you see, start seeing it tearing, uh, starting to see chips, you see stuff in the top, people, this is where from people hacking me. So, you know, people hack you, you know, it gives you a little added protection. You know, you want to keep these sticks, you know, especially if it's one that you like. This is my uh, Taze. P14 curve Bauer total one so uh, it's an older stick but uh, works really well for me I really like it it's the uh, Supreme total one so anyway I hope that helps um, again this is for a beginner level to because uh, most advanced guys you know they'll they'll tape their stick religiously so it's kind of like therapy for them. So anyway, I hope it helps. i um, going to have a, a couple more of these tutorials. I'm actually going to have a tutorial following this one, uh, how to take the tape off the blade and the butt end of the stick. So, um, yeah, it's a, again, it's all preference. Uh, it'll just be the way I do it and how, you know, it's pretty quick and easy and painless. So anyway, like, click, subscribe, send any questions or anything um, down in the comments below. Later, guys.